Hi everyone, it's Miss Carol, and we're on week six of our Sunday School Google Classroom. And this week's lesson is Trusting Jesus Only. And our scripture this week comes from the New Testament, and it is Ephesians 2, 1 through 10. And if you're ready, I'll begin to read. Made Alive in Christ. As for you, you were dead in your transgressions and sins, in which you used to live when you followed the ways of this world and of the ruler of the kingdom of the air, the spirit who is now at work and those who are disobedient. All of us also lived among them at one time, gratifying the cravings of our flesh and following its desires and thoughts. Like the rest, we were by nature deserving of wrath. But because of his great love for us, God, who was rich in mercy, made us alive with Christ even when we were dead in transgressions. It is by grace you have been saved. And God raised us up with Christ and seated us with him in the heavenly realms in Christ Jesus, in order that in the coming ages, he might show the incomparable riches of his grace expressed in his kindness to us in Christ Jesus. For it is by grace you have been saved through faith. And this is not from yourselves. It is the gift of God, not by work so that no one can boast. For we are God's handiwork created in Christ Jesus to do good works which God prepared in advance for us to do. So, our lesson this week, Trusting Jesus Only. Imagine for a moment if I gave you a box that had three holes in it. The first hole was in the shape of a star. The second hole in, was in the shape of a diamond. And the third hole and the shape of a square. Now imagine that I have given you three perfectly round balls and I've asked you to insert them into the box through the holes. It can't be done, right? The circle can't fit in the shape of a star, the diamond, or square. A circle only fits in the circle hole. It would be kind of funny to watch as people struggled trying to put a circle ball into a star's shaped hole. Here's what isn't funny though. People try to pretend that they love God and trust Jesus when they really don't. It's like they're trying to fit their circle-shaped thinking into the star-shaped hole that we call faith. The only thing that fits in the faith-shaped hole is true faith. Faith in God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. Trusting Jesus is the only thing that makes God happy. Loving God is the only way to have a relationship with him. Nothing else will do. No other pieces will fit. Have you ever heard someone say, it's like trying to fit a square peg in a round hole. People often say this when something doesn't work right, fit right, or seem right. There is nothing right about a fake faith in God. It doesn't fit and it doesn't work. And there's nothing right about kind of trusting Jesus. We must trust him fully. There is a word that we sometimes hear at church, justified. What we mean by this word is the idea that God takes people who love him and makes them into something so much better than they could ever be all on their own. Well, if we want to be justified, we want God to make something better out of us. And we have to have faith 
Nothing else will do. Nothing else will fit. What a good lesson this week, boys and girls. Having faith. We, we, we fully have to have faith in, in God, right? Yeah, we have to trust Jesus. Absolutely we should. Well, I hope you enjoyed our lesson this week. I hope you're working on your memory verses. I know um, two students that have done every memory verse since we started. So they have racked up a lot of rewards. And I would like for you to get rewarded too. All you have to do is learn your memory verse and send me a text or email and say, hey, I've done it and have a video. I'll watch the video and I will send your reward out to you. Well, boys and girls, I hope you have a wonderful week. And remember, God loves you every minute, oh, every second, every minute, every hour of every day. Take time to talk with him. He's waiting to hear. And as I always say to you, until the next time we meet, blessings to you all. Bye-bye, everybody.